Okay, before se sexuality had been in, introduced in our institution, whenever I could hear about the word the sexuality, I, maybe I knew that that was sexual intercourse between a female and a male. When I told my parents that I'm, I'm among those people who are in sexual education, they stopped, they stopped me from being with them. Of course, for them, they knew that with RHU, they teach children how to play sex, how to use condoms, how to sleep with men, which is not the case. But when Reproductive Health came in with this club of My Health, My Life is Club, I came to know that sexuality is all about sexual rights. When they opened up this club in our institution, we are the first people in that club and the themes which we looked at, we looked at sexuality, HIV, pregnancy and abortion, relationship, body hygiene and menstruation. We are capable of protecting ourselves as ladies and we are given some measures to protect ourselves as girls. I was interested in pregnancy and abortion because that is known that more especially students like we who are in the institution we do go in for sex. We fear pregnancy, but we don't fear HIV. So I, will, I got more interested in that topic. I used to fear how to, to interact with people, to talk. At first I thought maybe for me when I speak out something, people will laugh at me. But when I joined My Health, My Life is Club, I became firm. I'm now a lady who can stand, who can sit and discuss matters. As, even if I'm young, I can talk and people understand what I've said. I never knew that at which age someone can pregnant a girl. Children are spoiled all the way from early classes like P3, but when you keep counseling these students at an early age, by the time they reach in institutions like these ones, they can be experts, they cannot be deceived by, by these border border men, chapati men. We boys plus fellow girls we have to abstain. When the government extends this sexual education, people will have to know and understand. They will be empowered on what to do. The eight sexuality themes that we have, that I teach in this institution, we have uh, sexuality as a theme, the sexual rights. Then we have uh, pregnancy and abortion. We have relationship. We have uh, sex and pleasure. We have uh, HIV AIDS and then we have uh, the last one is body. I think what could be added on um, could be about uh, the, the PWDs, people with disabilities. Somehow some information lacked on equality. I think equality was referring to all categories of people. What the government has done on curbing the high rate of teenage pregnancies um, has been that teachers have been sensitized on how to handle such situations in the schools. Sexuality education program, passing through it with the eight themes, they were really marvelous because they look at the, the themes, pregnancy, whatever, it is an ideal thing that you're supposed to tell a young girl and a boy. Students are now empowered. They now have information, which was not the case before. Because now they are the ones telling people what is supposed to be done and what is not supposed to be done. In, in, the, in the past, there was shyness to talk about these issues. But now, uh, students sometimes even they propose uh, motions related to re reproductive health. As a senior woman teacher, I can't talk to them, but sometimes you have to bring in their peers to talk to them. So when I bring this Maya out and then she talks to them, she talks to the female and then she talks to the men, to the boys, they really feel they have really gained a lot. In a Muslim faith, a child when reaches the age of seven, they say I should separate them in the beds and more so in the, in, in the rooms. That is sexuality automatically. Why are you separating? We have been trying to encourage schools to do it in, uh, on open days. Music, dance and drama. Let them bring in the ideas of sexuality, the dangers, the pain. Most of them understand the drama than the songs. The sexuality package, I think, should be put into 
uh, the curriculum of the, the national curriculum. What government is planning to do is empowering the senior men teachers, senior men teachers, senior men teachers, and encouraging this to be on the timetables. They would bring in some manuals, eh? the ones that the, the students can easily read and interpret and then they see this. Eh? The simple uh, manuals written to them, and then they can read those ones on their own. According to us and according to the information and reports we get from our schools, is that somehow the rate of teenage pregnancies has increased because of the information they've been getting. A reproductive health should introduce these clubs to other schools, not only institutions, but even at secondary level. Hum, 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 hum.